Hi, this is Ian from Trains for Kids. I'm going to go through 10 of the must have Brio toys uh, for kids that love everything trains and railway. Uh, this is not a list of those that look best in the packets or, or those that are the most expensive. Uh, this is based on my two year old and my five year old, uh, what they just keep playing with over and over again. Right, first up we have uh, uh, what I think is called the travel train. Uh, I'm going to pull it in here. Now the travel train is brilliant because it comes with, uh, I think, two people. I've got three in here at the moment. Uh, the kids can open up and take the people out and put them into different areas. It comes in three segments so they can separate it and put it back together. You can have different drivers, one at one end, one at the other, and they just love taking them in and out. One drawback is that these pieces come off quite easily, so you might find as a, as a parent or grandparent uh, pushing it back in quite a lot, but um, this is one of the trains that uh, my two absolutely love and keep going back to. Let's roll it out. Latest addition to our train setup is this one here and this is uh, our two-year-old's absolute favourite he loves his fire engines and he loves his trains a little ladder at the back and he loves pulling this part out here little man running around climbing up but the best thing of all it keeps pressing it and we can hear it from the other room little siren on the top out goes the fire engine in comes his other favourite. A little simpler this one, um, but uh, find it via the link below. Um, he loves it because you can open up and out pop the little animals. Close it up, down they go. Going to scoop him off too. Now, I think both of them find the Shinkansen their favourite. Bringing the Shinkansen on. Absolutely simplest train, but uh, one of the things for the toddlers is that it's nice and large, easy to put onto the tracks, easy to hold. For the bigger ones, they can aspire to heading off to Japan and seeing the bullet trains. They think it's grown up because it's not one of the little tank engines. Off it goes. Right, let's get to some simple track things. If you haven't got one of these, a tunnel, then you really, really, really need to get one. Kids love laying on the floor, pushing the trains through. Just going to get the Shinkansen, pushing the trains through, watching them go through, knowing they're in the tunnel. Uh, as they start to learn the words like tunnel, um, they can really um, you know, develop their language based on that. The other thing for track, if you haven't got these, then you need to get some. So one of them is uh, a small piece with uh, two uh, rounded bits at the end and the other one slots into there. Just means it's so much easier for them to make uh, tracks when they can have such versatility with these small pieces. Just gonna bring in the crane. Now, my two absolutely love how this crane works and you can crank it up again and the reason being push it round like that we're going to use Shinkansen to pull this probably wouldn't get this in real life in it comes down it goes you lift off your cargo, slide it across and then put it down next to the track. Obviously this is one for where the uh, gets a little bit uh, older um, but it really, the, uh, the younger one can just use it as a tunnel. Going to roll that one out. Suspension bridges. Now these are absolute must have for, for our two. They come in uh, packs of uh, two. You see the other one here. I'm just going to use one to show you not only do the trains go over the top, 
which they love. But they can also push them through under the bottom here as well. And I think of all the bridges we have, and we have a lot, this is, uh, a, is the absolute favourite. One of the drawbacks is you've got to have a lot of space. They're quite long, especially if you put the two together and, a, and perhaps a track in between. Right. Next up, kids love points and the change in the train's direction. When they kind of get bored of the, uh, the, the standard ones, I recommend uh, getting one of these. So, train comes along and it can go one of two directions, but a very simple to use turn here, changes the lights for stop go, teaches the child about stopping and going at the points, and through the train comes. One of the other things that you'll find is that kids can take their people up onto here and make believe with people at the station. Right, that's nine. I've just got to my final one. And this is this starter set. Little bridge, little train. And these that go on the ends of the track for when they're making tracks and they don't quite go round in a circle. Of all the Brio things that we had, this is the first thing that we bought and it's still used today. Um, absolute great value for money and uh, a really good place for uh, beginners to get started.